Well, hello guys and welcome to this new series. In this series we are going to talk about Node.js authentication and authorization. Now in the end there are going to be two series. Uh, one is going to be uh, primarily dealt with authentication and authorization when it comes to like server side rendered like Express.js project. So you can like imagine this is a handlebars uh, templating system and we're going to implement local authentication over here. Um, on the next series, however, we're going to be implementing authentication to the API project. So depending on which one of these you are interested about, you may or may not want to watch this one. So for example, if you just finished my REST API series, unfortunately this series isn't for you, um, because for that one you need API authentication, but if you're interested in this one, um, follow along. So um, to show you, this is our like end result. So this is just a quick site that I um, made up. We have this uh, home page over here, we have sign up page and we have sign in page. Now when you start this series, my main focus isn't really how can we build this because this is really simple like this is bootstrap 4 with a few forms pretty much so instead what I have done is I made this for you and this this is that version so everything is the same but like it just doesn't work at all so like all the functionality isn't there and that's what our focus is going to be um, through the duration of this series so just to show you we have this sign up view over here so we can type something in so let me do something so let's say could worker at gmail.com let's say uh, username again could worker let me put a password like test123 test123 now if I click sign up you see that you may now log in we get this flash message over here and we are redirected to this login page so now I can try something wrong so I can try code worker 2 at gmail.com and something like something literally and I sign in and as you can see we get unknown user but instead if I type code worker and I type the test 123 password and I try to sign in this time we get we get redirected to this um, user slash dashboard page that is only um, accessible by the logged in users and that is this link over here so we also lost track of sign in and signed up because those two buttons doesn't really make sense once you're logged in but we get this button that allows us to log out so let me copy this URL and let me just log out and let me try to access it this way and as you can see we can't so that's the authorization part how we can how we can prevent um, users from accessing some page that they shouldn't really so um, with that out of the way let me now show you like what topics are we going to discuss in this series okay so now let's go over the things that need uh, to happen in order for this to fully function as we wanted so like we're going to split this functionality uh, in two different um, let's say pieces one piece is going to be about the sign up or also known as registration so those two are pretty much synonyms for the same thing so this is going to be the sign up flow and the other one is going to be the sign in or the login flow so the sign up flow goes like this first of all we need to get the sign up data uh, meaning uh, we will have a form on the registration page and that form will contain uh, several fields so we want to get access to them in our server so once we have them we need to check if the input was correct um, this is called server-side validation we won't be doing any client-side valid validation in this series because the main focus is pretty much authentication but I strongly encourage you to do the, both the server-side and the client-side validation whenever you do some projects of your own so we are going to check um, whether the input was correct for example um, we want we have like two fields for passwords we have like enter password twice 
and we want to make sure that both of those fields are pretty much the same so like if that's not the case we are going to um, respond back with a message to the user that something in the forms data is incorrect and that they should type it again but if everything was correct then we will go on the next step the next step um, we're going to check if that email that user just entered is already in our database um, so like we don't want to allow user to uh, register uh, like multiple accounts on the same email so this will take care of that also for a database we will be using a uh, mongo but that really shouldn't be like the main focus of this series because like there is only a handful of location where we interact with database so you will be able to pretty easily like swap the database for something else but I'll tell you about that once we come to that point then we need to hash the password so I'm not sure if you if you're aware of this but like you should never ever ever store passwords in the plain text format you should always hash them and just store the like human unreadable version of them in your database so that's what we're going to do at this step on the way so we are going to use bcrypt to hash our password and save that hashed version inside of the database so on the next step we will take all the data surrounding this particular user but we will just exchange the regular password with this hashed password and then we're going to save all of that into our database and once that's done we want to redirect the user to the login page and show a message saying that everything was correct so that's pretty much it uh, for the sign up or the register flow um, let's now take a look at the sign in or login flow so okay so this is our sign in or the login flow so we start off doing something similarly so again we have form on the login page and we want to get access to, to these fields in our server so we get that then we need to check if the user with that email exists so like whether there is actually account with that email if there isn't one we want to return back to the user message saying that that user doesn't exist but if that email is able to be found in our database then we proceed on then we need to check if the password is correct and we do this by taking the newly entered password hashing that password the same way that we hashed the password on the sign up um, flow and then we check two versions of the hashed passwords if those two hashed passwords are the same then we can be sure that the user just entered up um, correct password and then we can move along but if that's not the case we can get back to the user with a message saying that password was incorrect then we need to authenticate uh, using the passport JS so the passport JS is a uh, middleware that we're going to use that will help us with all of this um, passport JS also modifies our request object when it comes to routes so that object is going to contain several new uh, functions um, or like properties there is like request.user there, there are also functions like request logout request login and things like that but we'll talk about them when the time comes and one, once um, this is done we want to redirect the user to the dashboard on that so-called secret page that only uh, logged in users should be able to see and that's pretty much it now before I finish this video I just want to go along one more thing so as you're probably able to notice when we do sign up we don't have any email verification needed and we don't have a way to like reset the password in case you forgot it so like this is the main um, topic what I just described of this series after all this uh, playlist is done um, there could be added new videos that are like like one video could be just about like email verification and then the next video could be about um, resetting passwords like forgot your password click here to to get email with a new one things like that so 
in case you're interested in them um please be sure to check like this playlist from time to time because like even though they are not like advertised on this in this video like the main uh, feature set that we're going to build um they will be added over time so feel free to check and also like i don't know when you're watching this so maybe they are already in there just be sure to check like the latest videos in this playlist Ok guys, so that's that for this introduction video, I hope you are looking forward to this video series and if you got any questions feel free to uh, ask me down below in the comments and yeah, let's learn something together and let's have fun. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.